Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel back with Poco X3 NFC custom ROM reviews. This is a version Android version 13. Yes, January 5, 2024 is the second patch, but this is March 25th, 2024. Build it. The Android version is 13. Yes, you will miss out that lock screen customization. Apart from that, everything is same here. But what benefits you get once you flash the Android 13 ROM in 2024? Let's see here and starting with the home screen customization and home screen here you get this kind of home screen this is minus one screen and these are the quick settings toggles what we can get in the edit section there are minimal this is a pixel experience plus rom guys you will get some customizations we'll be exploring them and you get all this uh, extra parts if you want to add them in the quick settings toggles you can add them and regarding dialer again you get uh, basic google dialer only Video call support is there, call recording is also there, but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call. Widgets options are given. Home settings again, pixel launcher has been given. You get suggestions option. If you want to disable that and block the apps, you can do that from here. This is how the launcher and home screen and quick settings toggles in the settings panel. This is how it looks like. It's very simple and minimal and it is responsive and faster, guys. And into system, you get some customization, what I said before. Quickly open camera if you want to press the volume up button i mean yeah try the press the power button you can actually toggle that by disable that system gesture navigation again you get options here if you want to go back to navigation you can do that one handed mode is working fine as you can see that's there and swipe to three finger screenshot that's also there and quick torch and prevent drinking options are given here in the status bar again system icons you get all these options to enable or disable and battery status style you get just circle and other one battery percentage and other settings and this is the only customization in the xiaomi parts you also get this direct sound settings you can also choose the headphone type and a preset from here and also smart selection scene haptic feedback strength you can adjust in the xiaomi parts you get clear speaker kcal you get all these settings here thermal profiles lcd features don't turn this on no need to use them but if you want to show up then you can use while playing game and all don't make it high images like that it will drain your battery just don't use those options in my opinion and location settings everything is working fine with google maps everything are working fine no problem regarding that and security options you get sorry face and fingerprint unlock and there is no app lock anyhow this is a pixel experience plus fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quite fast and accurate let me check the face unlock yeah it's also fast to unlock your smartphone using both fingerprint and face unlock in this particular rom uh, security options again you get these options as i said before access built again all the options are given in necessary options like accessibility menu which is my personal favorite and color and motion and this display size and text i have increased the display size to make this icons looks a little bit uh, bigger wallpaper sound style here you get old style of ui as you can see there is no lock screen customization as of now change wallpaper you get all these options if you want them you can check out under 14 pixel experience rom is also available in my channel basic colors dark theme themed icons shortcuts app grid you get up to uh, 5 into 5 and regarding display again you get plenty of options here too dark theme you won't get any uh, Pitch black condition option colors you get options refresh rate smooth display is available tap to wake tap to sleep is given that's it nothing so fancy here in the sound and vibration again everything remains same here direct sound settings are available here in the system check out them and battery again battery usage you can see uh, extreme battery saver is available yeah you can actually limit them some of the apps and schedule the extra battery saver and battery saver adaptive preferences are given this is how the ui settings and everything guys it's really really fast and responsive let me do the speed test here and whatsapp if you are still not joined the whatsapp group for this poco x slash nfc you can join there you guys can see this is the app opening times and recent apps it's really smooth guys you won't uh, feel any jitter or anything like that 
I use it for few hours once I flash the ROM then it's fine camera application is disappointed they haven't given anything they have mentioned that like a module you can use but you need to root that but by default they would have been given that's my requirement at least in the upcoming build uh, they can fix this and add the direct gcam or any uh, nx camera like that like a camera model directly they can add it out and let's check some results what i can got here regarding geek main scores you can see single score is 754 and multi score is 1913 and link 4.1 4.32 puff kernel has been used and this is the version i use and standard version that is charging rapidly support is there here during 1056 it was 37 1127 it was around uh, 67 and this is the anti benchmark results what i got 3,98,984 what i got 1.1 degrees celsius is the temperature is and four percentage of battery has been dropped here this is the cts profile match and basic integrity safety net status test and place to certification is done uh sd at and support is there wide one level one certification is done and this is read at speed test with numericals and graphical this is the internet speed test with wi-fi i have 200 mbps fiber connection here and this is how the options what we can get in this particular room everything is smooth here let's check the gameplay how it actually handles and what all the graphic settings we get as you can see there is even a game mode like that you can see the real time fps count here and graphic settings are just smooth plus of 40 mm ultra fps here you can see the real time fps count here That was a mess around. Anyhow, maybe because of FPS, the game is a little bit choppy. Definitely, 60 and 90 FPS could have been better. Yeah, a little bit choppy according to 40 FPS. But overall, you can play the casual games like Clash of Clans and other games will work fine. Yeah. That's how it is. It's not unplayable or anything like that, but definitely that 90 and 60 could have been better in my opinion, as you can see. We'll come back here, guys. This is the experience of this uh, Pixel Experience Plus UI with Android 13. Uh, what special here is just you get latest build that's it and if you want to use it as a deleter definitely you can have older versions are always better than the newer version but android 15 developer preview 2 is already out so i don't think so anyone must use this uh, but if you want to use it you can definitely use it as a deleter this sampath will meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smelling bye, bye, bye.